All right, you guys, uh, welcome to the first video in um, the E3.3 unit. This is video E.3-1, and the learning target we're looking at is A, explain how plate tectonics accounts for the features and processes that occur on or near Earth's surface, and there's a variety of processes listed there in that learning target. Um, this set of notes is some review. Um, talking about stress uh, on the rock and the different types of stress based on what the rocks are doing. So we'll revisit some faults here and, and see what uh, you know folder volcanic mountains uh, could occur from. Uh, but you will need this information. It is reviewed just from 3.2, uh, unit E3.2, but um, <clears throat> you'll see this again throughout this because this is going to help you to be able to explain why some of these things are happening so you should have this set of notes out and without further ado I'll jump into the PowerPoint Bailey's trying to talk to me here okay so section four um, and don't mind these numbers here uh, that went with an old PowerPoint so to form the Earth's crust uh, starting off with number one uh, what stress and how does it affect rocks near Earth's crust? Stress is defined as, this is what you should be writing here, the amount of force per unit area on a given material. And rocks can do two things, bend or break. So we should have both of these bolded points um, under number one there. What is compression and at what type of boundary does it occur? Uh, stress that occurs uh, when an object is is squeezed is compression, so they're squeezed together, and this is a convergent boundary. Remember, the two plates are converging on each other; they're coming together. Hey, and a friendly reminder again, you guys, pause this, be an active note taker, write down those questions if you have them. Um, number three, what's tension, and what type of boundary does it occur at? Uh, this is the type of stress that forces uh, objects to, to stretch, to stretch apart. Um, so this is obviously divergent boundary there, diverging or moving apart. Uh, so that rock is getting stretched apart. Um, folding. What is folding? This is just the bending of rock layers because of stress and there is crust. Fault is the surface along which rocks break and slide past each other. So we know that faults are really at our plate boundaries, but the definition is exactly where these, these um, rocks are going to break and slide past each other. So we had our three different types of faults, and you guys probably are familiar with all this information thus far as being from our lab on stress and faulting with the silly putty and the blocks of wood representing um, these foot walls and hanging walls here. So a normal fault. We see that uh, this here on the left would be our um, hanging wall, or I'm sorry, our, our foot wall, and then our hanging wall is over here because it's kind of hanging up on that and we're at a divergent boundary, so they're going to move outwards and it's going to drop down in comparison to that foot wall. Uh, the next one we have a reverse fault and they're being pushed together here so it's a convergent boundary and this hanging wall is then going to be pushed up because of that fault line and then the strike slip goes with those transform boundaries uh, where they are moving past each other uh, horizontally or laterally uh, and again revisiting the San Andreas fall here you have a nice picture of it and uh, that is kind of what's happening to the landscape as these two different plates are sliding past each other. And this is a strike and slip fault. Mountains exist because these plates are, are always moving around and running into each other. And, and uh, we have some mountain ranges in the United States like the Rocky Mountains or the Appalachian Mountains in the eastern portion of the United States. These are from past collisions. Um, they are not currently being built. Um, they're at this point really just eroding. Uh, however, the Himalayas, as shown here, are, are the best example of our fold mountains um, because they're actively building. That Indian plate is still crashing into the Asian plate. <clears throat> and 
here are those Himalayas again. So we have convergent boundaries, and again it's that Indian plate crashing into the Eurasian plate. And they're still building. We have fault block mounds. So tension causes large blocks of Earth's crust to drop down relative uh, to other blocks. In this case, we have a picture of the Tetons, Grand Tetons, out west. We also have volcanic mountains. Uh, it says rock melted at subduction zones, forms magma, it rises on that continental side uh, of the subduction zone, and uh, comes to the surface and erupts to form mountains. This is the Poas volcano in Costa Rica. And what's really interesting about this is you can see the, the one in the foreground here is active. There's barren landscape around it from uh, more recent lava flows, whereas the one in the back actually has a, a caldera and a lake and it's very very lush with green plants and you can tell that that is not an active volcano at this point or recently I should say. So the last thing we got to talk about here is vertical movements in crust. We have a couple things uplift and subsidence. Uh, so uplift up the rising of regions of Earth's crust to a higher elevation or subsidence to subside would be to come down um, the sinking of regions of Earth's crust to lower elevations. Okay, they're pretty self-explanatory terms here. So uplift and subsidence. Up goes up, subsidence goes down. And then uh, we also have rift zones. So it's a set of deep cracks that form uh, when two tectonic plates are pulling away from each other. So this is really uh, the beginning of a divergent boundary. These plates are, are pulling away and this happens on land first and then ultimately what will happen, as will be explained in, in the video on divergent plate boundaries and features associated with those, I think it's video number three here, um, this rift zone will eventually become so wide that it fills with water and ultimately becomes an ocean over hundreds of thousands um, or, or millions of years. Uh, that is the end of the notes uh, to get us started in this new unit, E3.3.